Welcome to Scribble Lab. Today we're going to draw this penguin, courtesy of a request from the Humphreys family in Pennsylvania. Here you go guys, I hope you enjoy this. Let's start by looking at the basic shapes. This guy has a heart-shaped face, kind of an egg-shaped belly, an oval body, curved triangle arms, and rounded triangle feet. And that is just about it. So let's move him up into the corner so that he's out of our way. We can still use him as a reference. As always, I am using an iPad Pro and Adobe Draw. You don't need an iPad at home to be able to do this. Just get a pencil and a paper, a marker and some colors, and we should be good to go. Now if you're drawing with pencil, Make sure that you draw very lightly because we're going to be doing some erasing today. Let's get started. Draw a very light heart in the center of your page. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is a sketch that's going to get erased. It's just a good guideline for where our marker is going to eventually be. Let's put a big egg shape underneath him for his belly. And around all of that, we're going to put a big oval. Pretend there's an imaginary line right about here where the heart meets the egg shape. That's where the arms are going to start with a curved sideways V or a curved triangle, however you see it. The feet are just rounded triangles. That looks something like that. Makes him look like he has webbed toes. I'm gonna throw the scarf in. I'm going to start at that same imaginary line and I'm going to draw kind of a smile shape, just a flat smile shape that barely extends outside of the body. I'm going to draw another one above it, just about like that. And then I'm going to connect those two lines with downstrokes that look like that. Now, so I don't get confused, I'm going to go ahead and erase some lines here. Now, every line that is inside the scarf area can be erased. You don't absolutely have to do this, but I think it helps to figure out where your final marker lines are going to go. Another thing I want to erase is any line that is inside the face, like that. I'm going to erase any line that's inside of the feet, like that. And if you need to pause, go ahead and do that. I know that I'm pretty fast with my iPad here, and it takes a little longer with pencil and eraser. Right on the left side of this penguin's scarf, I'm going to draw kind of a rounded off circle, maybe even more of a gumdrop shape there. And then I'm going to curve a line off from the bottom to the outside of his body. And I'm going to mimic that line just a little farther down and connect it with a downstroke. That's going to be one end of his scarf. The other end of his scarf is going to come out of the circle here, or gumdrop shape. And down here from the other half of the scarf with another stroke to connect those two lines. And once again, I'm gonna get my handy dandy eraser out. and I'm going to erase everything that's inside of the scarf. Every line that crosses that scarf. Because the scarf is in front and it's not see-through, we don't wanna see any of the penguin inside of the scarf. Okay, I have all of my basic sketch lines done now. When you're ready, when you're to this point, you can make any adjustments you want to. Like I'm looking at this guy and I'm thinking his arms are a little bit too floppy, like he's trying to fly away. So I'm going to fix that a little bit because we all know penguins can't fly. But I guess that doesn't mean they don't try, right? Who knows? I'm also going to adjust a line on his face here because I just think it's not working out for me. You can adjust your lines however you like. This is your unique piece of art. 
Good, I like that. Now when you have all of your lines where you want them to be, go ahead and erase everything until it's very, very light, like this. And the reason why we do that is so that those pencil lines don't get in our way and distract us from where our marker lines are going in. When I start putting marker over sketch lines, I find it's easiest to draw the things that are closest to me. And by looking at this penguin, I think that his scarf is closest and then maybe his feet. So I'm going to start with the scarf. And with these final lines, try to draw as smoothly as you can because it's pretty much impossible to erase a marker. When you are done with the scarf, go ahead and start the feet. And then you can get the rest of the body in. Arms. Inside of his face. belly. Now you're at the point where you can erase all of your pencil lines, every single one of them. It takes a bit of time with a regular eraser, but with the iPad, I can just delete this layer. Haha, <laughs> all done. Now comes the super fun part. Let's put in some eyes for this guy. Put a circle here with another smaller circle inside. And then everything outside of that smaller circle gets filled in with black. That gives him a cute little highlight. Let's find a good orange color for his nose. Maybe that? How does that look? Yeah, it's pretty good. We just do an upside down triangle there. For his cheeks, I like to put little peach pink cheeks here, because he's outside and it's cold out there. I know my cheeks get pink when I'm cold. Now for his body, the outside of his body, I like to make him kind of a dark gray, almost black, but not quite black. Draw his arms in. His feet are going to be kind of a, more of a yellow color than orange. Maybe a little more orange than that. There we go. Okay. And his scarf is going to be this gorgeous Christmas red. He looks pretty stinking cute, doesn't he? If you want to get really creative, you can add a simple background like this. Or you can put them on an iceberg with a couple of other penguins to hang out with. Maybe they're diving underwater to get some fish. In any case, I hope you've had fun drawing this little guy. I thought he was pretty cool. If any of you have any suggestions, go ahead and send them in the comments below. I would love to draw what you want to draw. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do because we have a lot of fun here. I'll see you next time.